All right, guys, so today let's take a look at one of the most iconic and probably awesome 90s toys slash play sets that ever came out during the 90s, and that was Galoob's Micro Machines Super Van City. Now, I, I remember the commercials for this toy so vividly growing up. Um, it was just such a cool looking play set that they advertised on the commercials, the way this thing unfolds, and there's just such a world of stuff to do inside. Uh, like you had like the, those like secret uh, hidden type play sets, like the gas can and the auto supplies play sets, but this was something totally different. Like they did battleships and stuff like that, and those are cool, those are neat, they're big, but I don't think anything really says Micro Machines like a freaking giant RV, like a Winnebago. I mean, <laughs> you can't really get much more time of the period of the 90s than a big beige, you know, kind of white colored Winnebago, you know, traveling camper RV with these crazy yellow, orange, red, and gray stripes like that, that just crazy 90s pattern. That's such a 90s color scheme. Uh, there's not many more iconic 90s toys when you go through like a big list of stuff like you know of course Power Rangers things like that you know you're always gonna have you know stuff like that but I think when you're really looking at iconic toys from the 90s Superman City has to be on that list so uh, let's check out this gigantic place out here let's just first check out the uh, you know the RV the car van whatever you want to call it I guess van yeah that would probably make the most sense and uh, one thing that's really cool about this, or two things that are really cool about this, number one, it's not just a play set, but it's also a carrying case. You can, you know, you can't really keep your, uh, your vehicles in there too effectively. They'll just kind of move all around, but it, you can hold like an unbelievable amount of micro machines in here. So if you got a big micro machines collection, that's great. Um, number two, it's not just a play set. It's not just for your micro machines. It's its own vehicle. Like the wheels roll and move. So, I mean, I don't know if you're bored, you got nothing else to do. Well, you got a giant freaking RV that you can play with on top of everything else, aside from having a giant carrying case and a city for your micro machine. So what more do you want here? Um, again, I think this color paint scheme is just, it's so ridiculous, so awesome. I, I really love that. Uh, then we're gonna turn it around to the front here. Yeah, let's move that back a little bit in frame. And you got, look, look at that. Check out the front of the, of the, of the van there. The Micro Machines logo, the original scale miniatures, Micro Machines. And then you got the uh, the same little logo on the front of the, the front of the grill there. And you got the uh, the headlights and everything, the big gray windshield. And you can just imagine, uh, you know, the Micro Machines guy in the driver's seat driving this thing around. Hey, buy some Micro Machines. He's just going around the country selling people Micro Machines. And there we go, we got the other side. Stickers kind of held up a little bit better on this side, I think. Looks really nice. And then the top here, we have uh, like the exhaust uh, vents and fans on the top, as well as the uh, the big floodlights on the top there. And then not too much going on around on the back here. I think maybe there may have been a sticker. I don't remember. I think there was a Micro Machine sticker for the license plate. That's probably missing or faded or worn off. I can't say for that 100% uh, at the moment. I don't really remember. Now let's take a look at the underneath. Nothing too special going on here. Just got your copyright information. 1991, Lewis Kaloub Toys Incorporated, made in China, yada yada. Some molding for the parts, the transmission muffler all that so you know at least uh this is not just bare i mean you got to give them credit for that that they actually um you know did some detail work on the other underside too which they totally didn't have to there's really not a reason to do that but anyway let's go ahead and we'll get this uh we'll get this opened up and then we'll get it set up and let's load it up with some micro machines all right, so now let's get this transformed into its uh, Supervan City, the city mode here. And it's really simple to do that. 
Um, all you're gonna do is just gonna take these two little tabs up top and you're gonna push them in and that's gonna cause the roof to lift up and hopefully I can get all this in frame here. I don't know how well this is all gonna frame up in camera. Let me pull back a little bit here. I forgot just how large this thing is. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna take, and we're gonna pull the front side out. And hold on to that so that doesn't go flying. And that side's gonna come down. Oof. Unbelievable the size of this. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better view here. All right, so while I can't get everything in uh, one shot, um, I will go around and we'll do like a more zoomed in look at everything here, but this is just more of a wide shot so you can see most of what's going on here uh, with the city. Now, I will say this thing uh, I got pretty cheap, so it's missing a lot. Uh, but I still think even with everything that it's missing, it still looks cool. It's still a fun uh, playset. So the main things you can see right off the bat, right up front here, uh, we have a uh, drag strip, a little race course right here that actually works. And we'll try that a little bit later on. Uh, you got like these little luxury skyboxes for people to watch the different races and stuff. You got the police station. Uh, this, I don't remember if that went with it or not. That might have just been something I added to it that I found that was also from another Micro Machines playset. That, I don't remember. I probably just put that with that. But anyway, it still looks pretty good. Uh, we got this really bizarre bank. Is it just, it's like totally hollow and you can drive. That's just the craziest looking thing. Like, who, who goes to a bank like that? But that's, that's still neat. I mean, it looks like it's got the helipad on top, but it just, it looks so bizarre. Um... Got the other ramp, the Goodyear Racing sticker here. Uh, off to the side, which you can't see, I'll do a more zoom in in just a second. That's like the uh, where they scrap like cars at. So there's a crane that should be there that's missing. Um, you got this other little car wash and like auto center over here. And the top part of the car wash is missing. Uh, there's also supposed to be a top part, like a little restaurant for the drive-in up at the top of that mountain that's missing. And then in the Opposite side of that, you have the airport. And I don't know if anything's missing on that or not. Probably a few things that should be there that aren't. Um, and then you got the part in the middle with the river and everything. You got the bridge, which adds fun. And uh, so now let's, uh, we'll take a quick overhead view and then we'll load it up with some micro machines and we'll check it out a little bit more zoomed in. So let's see what we got here. We got a couple little uh, cool racing cars that we can put on the track there, which are probably gonna go completely flying off. Let's see, so all you do is you pull this thing all the way back. And I guarantee you these things are not gonna stop when they're supposed to, they're gonna go flying on the floor. So let's see, we got the old time like 60s Cadillac versus like the, uh, like an 85 Lambo there. So we're gonna push this little button and let them zoom off. Oh, and looks like the uh, the Lambo beat out the 60s Cadillac, which I guess that's probably not too surprising unless that had a uh, really souped up engine in it. Oh, there's one of the little headlights. I don't remember where this went, little street light. Again, I don't know if that was something that went with it or not, or just something that I have in here that kind of goes with it. And let's see, we got some more old time cars here. And they're driving in to get some uh, get some work done there. Going to the bank. We'll get these guys out of the way. We'll park them over there. They go down that little hill. Well, they don't go down it very well. So they're going to crash. And then he's going through here, taking a shortcut. Screech! So there's that. All right. So now let's get a better look at how busy the Superman City playset really is. So we've got the uh, the Indy racetrack is all ready to go again. We've got an Indy car, an old time like 1930s race car. That'd be a good race to see. See them going, get ready to go again. The other guys are parked over here. We got the police car parked at the police station. Now this had a button. I believe that's electronic. It's supposed to make a noise. That and I also think the airport too. And then we got a tractor trailer over here waiting at the uh, waiting at the bridge because uh oh what's going on here at the bridge we got a uh, we got a boat that's passing through underneath so we gotta lift up the bridge 
And there goes the speed bump, the speed boat into the marina. And everybody's in their cars like, oh my God, come on, you're holding everything up. I gotta, I'm running late for work. And there we go, oh, somebody's on the wrong side of the road. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna be late with this delivery. Crossing over the little bridge there. We got another guy and he's like, where the heck have you been? I've been waiting for you. We got the fire truck, the ambulance over by uh, Lookout Point. Hopefully nobody fell off. And then we got this big 4x4 truck. Looks like he's getting ready to tackle the big rough, tough terrain of Lookout Point and get a look at everybody. Oh my God, that's what the ambulance was there for. They knew that he was gonna totally, uh, totally just go flying off the mountain there like the Springfield Gorge. And then we got a bunch of cars here doing their banking at the bank. Looks like a little hold up there. Big line of cars. And then this is the, uh, the car crusher. I guess these old two, two old cars have finally had it. So they're gonna be headed to the great scrap heap in the sky. And looks like we got a, a paramedic helicopter on the roof there. Yeah, let's go over to the airport and see what's going on over here. Looks like we got a military convoy heading around the back, performing some military functions. Some other cars driving around. And I guess that'd be why we've got all these stealth jets and military fighters here doing uh, their landing and taking off at the airport. So maybe that's why the military convoy is here. Then we got some more cars driving along the road underneath of the bridge. And then down here by the uh, by the gas station, everybody's getting their gas. We got this old time car here, and he's getting his uh, getting his car washed. But it looks like the uh, car wash has probably seen some better days. So I think he's going to be needed to be uh, issued a refund. There might have scratched the paint a little bit. But overall, it looks like everybody's having a very productive, very busy day. That's Superman City. Except for this guy in the pink car. He's going to drive into the lake. Got to get him straightened out there. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this awesome play set by Micro Machines, the 1991 Supervan City Micro Machines play set with me today. Really hope you thought it was cool and interesting, and I will see you guys back here next time. Take care. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.